Hey Spelling Class, I hope you all had a nice long weekend with your families. Welcome back to another digital online class. For today's class, we're going to be looking at lesson number seven. So we're going to start with a little exercise. So I'll read what it says in our book. We're going to learn to spell some words that begin with the sound k, k, but this time it's spelled with the letter C. So our first word is the word cart. What word? Get ready. Right, cart. Let's spell it. Get ready. C-A-R-T. Right, so word one is the word cart. If we look right, it has the k, k sound, but it's spelled with the letter C. We have our favorite pirate sound, which is R, and then we have T. Our next word is the word cup. What word? Get ready. Right, cup. Let's spell cup. Get ready. C U P. So the word cup is spelled k. -k. Once again, it has the K sound at the beginning, the k, but it's spelled with the letter C. Then we have the U and the P. And then our last word is going to be the word cut. What word? Get ready. Write the word cut. So let's spell it. C-U-T. Right. Once again, all of these words have the k sound, but they're spelled with the letter C. Great job. Now let's look at part A. I'll read what it says in our book. So for part A, it tells us that we're going to write sentences made up of words that we've already looked at and that we know how to spell. The first sentence is going to be, what are you doing? So let's repeat that sentence. What's the sentence again? Get ready. What are you doing? So now remember that when we're starting a sentence, we're going to need to have a capital letter at the beginning. And then since this sentence is a question, we're going to need to remember to put a question mark at the end. So let's look at the sentence one more time. What are you doing? Right, so we need to have a capital W at the beginning. The word what starts with the letter W, but it has a silent H right after. W. Then we have a the letter A, t, 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 then we have the word R. How do we spell the word R? Get ready, A, R, E, right? What R, U is spelled, get ready, Y, O, U, right? Y, O, U. And then our last word is the word doing. What word? Get ready. Write the word doing. If we look at that word, it has two syllables, do and ing. Right, so this word is going to end in the ing sound, which is spelled with what three letters? Get ready, I, N, G, right? So the first two letters are D-O, and then we have I, N, G. Then I need my question mark. So our first sentence is, what are you doing? Right, right at the beginning, I remembered to have a capital W. And then at the end, I made sure to have a question mark. Great job. Now let's look at our second sentence. If you guys need to pause this video to make sure that you've written your sentence, that's fine. And then I will see you in sentence number two. Our second sentence is, she has many cards. What's the sentence? Get ready. She has many cards. Right, so let's write that sentence in. So what I want you guys to do is try to write this sentence on your own. Once again, the sentence is, she has many cards. Right, so you can pause the video now and make sure to sound out each word. Sound out each sound in each word.
So you guys can pause the video now, and then I will see you in part B. So for part B, what they ask us to do is to flip our pages over, and then we have a sentence written there. The sentence says, will you come with us? So what's the sentence? Get ready. Will you come with us? Right? Great job. So what we have to do for part B is rewrite that sentence on the line. We need to remember to start the sentence with a capital W, and then we need to make sure that we end our sentence with a question mark. So what I want you guys to do now is you can pause the video, make sure to flip your paper, the sentence is written there for you, and then you're gonna write it in for part B. Now we're gonna look at part C. So in part C, we have some of the letters written in. Our job is to fill in the missing letters. The sentence for part C is going to be once again, will you come with us? So once again, what was the sentence? Will you come with us? So all we have to make sure that we do is fill in all of the missing blanks. Once again, remember at the beginning, the first letter to have use a capital. So the W in will will need to be capitalized. You guys can pause the video now and make sure that you filled in each blank. Great job. And then we're gonna look at part D. So for part D, it tells us that you're going to first say what each blank should be. Then we're going to fill in each blank. So word one, we have some letters given to us, but the word is supposed to be the word parting. What word? Get ready. Parting, right? So let's sound out that word. We have the first letter given to us, which is P. P. The next sound is R. R, right? So what two letters make our R sound? Get ready. A R. Right, the A R. Then we are given the next letter, which is the letter T, T. Right, so right now we have part. And then we have the ending of the word, which is ing. Right, so we've looked at words that end in this sound. And the three letters that make the sound are I, N, G. So for part D, our first word is the word parting, P-A-R-T-I-N-G. Word two is supposed to be the word seeing. What word? Get ready. Seeing, right? So all of these words are going to end in our ing sound, which is spelled I-N-G. Word three is the word doing. What word? Get ready doing, right? So make sure we fill in our missing ending or our missing ing sound. And word four is going to be the word going. What word? Get ready. Going. Nice job. So once again, for part D, the first word is parting. The second word is seeing. The third word is doing. And the fourth word is going. So great job, guys. And then I'll see you in the next lesson.